If you're trying to keep children entertained and you're looking for something to do, here's some really fun ideas. For the first one, we need to take a clear drinking glass and a piece of white cardboard or paper roughly the same size. Give your child a felt tip pen and ask them to draw a thick arrow on the card, like this. Then fold over the bottom of the card to make a stand and slide it behind the glass. For the next part, we want to set it up without the child helping or watching. Pour water into the glass and you can see the arrow reverses direction. Looking through the glass of water displays a mirror image. But look what happens when we move the card further away or closer to the glass. If we touch the glass with the card, the arrow actually displays the right way. But as we move it further back, it flips direction. Position it so the arrow looks nice and clear, then swap the full glass for an empty one. Next, ask your child to stand in front of the glass, close one eye and look straight at the arrow. And watch what happens when you fill up the glass with water. It's a great illusion, but it does work best if you close one eye. You can just pick up the glass and watch it flip. You can let them move the card around to see how perspective changes things. Or you could try it with different arrows and a wave. For the next one, you'll need a bottle of lemonade and remove the label. Take the cap off and place in a funnel. Next, you'll need a handful of popcorn kernels and drop them down into the lemonade bottle. You can see they fall down and rise back to the surface. Take the funnel out and screw the lid back on. Next, ask your child to give the bottle a shake and watch as they fall down. Then rise back up to the top. The small bubbles in the drink attach to the kernels and lift them back to the surface. You can even just flick the bottle and watch as they fall. Then rise back up. After a while, the bubbles holding the kernels up burst and they fall back down automatically before being lifted back up again. It's a bit like a homemade lava lamp and it's a great project to do with kids. Here's a great tip for your younger children if they like painting. It can be awful if they spill their water, they can destroy their painting and make a real mess. So here's how to make a spill-proof water container. Take a balloon and cut off the bottom and the top like this. Next, take a water vessel, plastic would be better than glass, and you only need a small amount of water really for washing out a brush. Then take your balloon and stretch it over the vessel like this. And poke the middle bit down into the glass. And that's our spill-proof water vessel complete. To wash the brush, you just poke it down through the middle and clean it out. And if it accidentally gets knocked over, the balloon stops any spills. You can actually turn the vessel beyond horizontal and still no leaks. It's a good, fun project to make with kids and they'll love using it. Now here's a great experiment if you've got slightly older kids. Take a ping pong ball and a wine glass like this and challenge them to find three different ways to pick up the ping pong ball in the glass but they're only allowed to touch the glass. The first way is to scoop up the ball, which is difficult if you try like this. It can be done, but it's easier to try like this. The second way is really simple. Just roll it off the table and let it drop into the glass. But for the third way, you need to think a little bit more creatively. Place the wine glass over the ball and start rotating the ball in the glass. Then you can slowly lift it off the table. You need to keep shaking the glass to rotate the ball. And you can lift it right the way up. And if you want to, back down. 
spinning the ball inside the glass causes it to push against the wall with centrifugal force, allowing us to pick it up off the table. And if you're quick enough, you can turn the glass over and catch the ball. Pretty cool, huh? I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more fun ideas, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.